squeezed. Damn, trailer came off the truck, guys. I never witnessed this. And it was locked with the thing, but it must have not locked all the way in. And I was coming around this curve on the highway, and this thing just came off. Now I was trying to jack it up and put it on, but it's too too high, so I'm gonna have to improvise right now. I'm gonna have to use some tools or something around here to kind of hold it in. Yeah, sucks. Oh boy, something always with this damn trips. What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. 75 Caprizi with another video out here leaving actually We are leaving Culver's Oh, and it just started raining Jeez Well guys, can y'all guess what are we going to be picking up today? Yeah, there was no Chick-fil-A guys and we haven't bought a car yet but I was hungry, I had to use the bathroom Might as well get over with so it was between Culver's, McDonald's, or Wendy's. So I picked Culver's. So, yeah. But, y'all seen earlier the incident. Trailer came off, got it back on. Took a little while, but we got it situated. But today, guys, we are on route. We are in route, actually, right now. We've been on the road for three hours. We are going on a four hour drive. We want to check out a 1975 convertible. And that's all I'm going to tell you guys. Y'all got to watch the video to see what convertible we're going to go check out and possibly be taking back with us if everything. Oh, man, let me put this damn seatbelt. Safety first. There we go. So, yeah, guys, we are on the way. Um, we got about an hour and a half left. But it says right here, right? Hour and 27 minutes left to get there. And I'm trying to get there in the daylight so we can see this car right. So we don't miss anything. So I'm gonna check back with y'all once we are pulling up to the seller's house because it is getting crazy out here with this rain. Plus, I'm trying to eat my food, so I'll check back with y'all. getting to our destination and I can't believe this guys it is barely 551 and look how dark it is already like see we ain't gonna be able to see nothing once again I hate looking at cars at night but we gotta do what we gotta do it says this is going to be somewhere over here at least it looks like it already rain over here so we don't have to be dealing with rain imagine looking at a car in the rain at night that car is gonna look marvelous all clean shiny paint shiny <laughs> you won't be able to see no imperfections but we are 0.2 miles away so where are you Hopefully they're gonna let us vlog. You know the ladies uh purchases we had, they kinda don't want us to vlog, so okay, so this is right here. This little house. You have arrived. Alright. Alright gang, let me give him a call. Here it is, gang. 1975 Oldsmobile Delta. Oh, that 
terre. On rêve, c'est Yeah, you got a couple cars in the driveway. Yeah. <coughs> hey, Shirley, you want to move the car? The Dodge and the truck, or Dodge and the other one. But it is a convertible. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, guys. It's got dual mirrors. like a nose mobile. Came on the wrong time, huh? That's fine. I didn't want to throw up the Christmas party. It's all done. We're just, we're all done. I should have brought some gifts. Huh? I should have brought some gifts. <laughs> we're hungry. We got lots of food left over. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, cover for that to the inside. For what? The hitch? Or what? Yes. Right here. Oh, the Oldsmobile yeah. cover thingy? Yep. Oh, okay. And the 88, that's the emblem is inside. So you said you fixed everything on it? they work. We got the lights here, they work on both sides. Pretty cool. Ashtray. Okay. Back window, see if it works. Yeah, it works. Oh, I think you gotta help it. Did I just break it? Yeah, you just gotta help it. Common thing with this back window. Caprices do it too, so that's. There we go. Okay, back seat looks good. I don't see no rifts, tears, sides. 
use the cleaning, but look at that dash. No cracks. I think he said this car has a low it's low mileage. Big glove box, look at that. It goes like almost half of the dash. We got a pop trunk and it works. Oh we got a clock. I don't know if that works. How many miles you said this car had? Uh, I didn't see. 50 something? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got the jack, we got the spare. And I don't know what we have here. Oh, here's the thing that he was saying to cover the trunk thing. But trunk looks all there. I can't even see it. Oh, you can't see it? I'll check it out right now. What's in the black bag? Is that like the that's cover for the convertible? Yeah. Okay, the, the cover, yeah. yeah. That's all in there. You can see the jack has these venues. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> I put all new tires on it right away. You put new tires? Yep. Oh, so these are not the old? The shocks are new in the back. I don't know on the front, but I put them on. The brakes are new. Like I said, I put a bump on the front here. But it does need a different gas cap. Yeah? Why is that? The seared gas cap cap is invented. Oh, okay. I get what and you're saying. It was running real ragged. Okay. And it quit. Once it's built up enough pressure to tank, it would run. Well, just for the heck of that one, I lose the cap. Right, perfect. Yeah, after I had another 400. So just put a different cap? Yeah. Put a different, that's okay. all that needs. So it's got 64,000 miles. Oh, is that a six? Yeah, 64. Yeah, that's, I've only got one eye. I went. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why you're getting rid of it, right? Yeah. That's where you can't have fun, man. Yeah, sucks. And my wife won't drive it. And you said you got the badge for over here? Yeah, that's what it comes from. That has to be glued on. It's a blicky okay. Uh, it does have that. Wait, they painted something. Other matching paint. Yeah. So, yeah, he got some down here too on the on the bumper. On the bumper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to have to take the steel wall off. Can you open the top or no? The top. The top work? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you put it down or? Oh yeah. Looks like you need a buff. I don't know what he spray painted, but... See that top go back? Try thinking. Should we get this one? It ain't a Capri, but it is a Delta. Pretty clean. Uh, the badge that's missing on the fender is inside the glove box so you would just have to glue it back on and maybe get it off. I don't know, I, I'll have to wash it to see how it looks. It's kind of hard to tell because the day is not too nice out here so there's really no... I mean it does have a shine though. It's just, you can kind of see right here the reflection but it's kind of hard to get it. But let's check out this top going down though. The brains on that thing. 
her love with the ceiling missing. Yeah, nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's the only that's the part I like about the car. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. So I tell the new top set in the garage there. You used to drive this or not really? I drove it, put it in the van. <laughs> and that's where I drove it off to my buddy to uh, get his get water in. But that, I think I drove out the Bover once. I have been for what, 50, 50, 60 miles on it this year. Oh wow. guys well kind of finished checking it out wanted to see underneath the floors have you checked the floors on this yeah yeah they're good yeah. It's pretty dark I'm gonna put the flashlight so yeah let me check this out again work. The clock don't work, right? What's the heck? Why is it? They're on. Oh, they're on? Yeah, they're on. Oh, no. Do we pull it again one more time? As it pull all the way, pull it. Maybe that's why you had the high beams on. Press the bottom. I don't know. I never... See, now they're on. Oh, right there. No. Again. Oh, I just had it wrong. That's, right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can <laughs> see of the reflection of the front car. Where's the... Oh, that's everything I else. think the heater's over there on the... Uh, oh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I was, just, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just asking if you knew if it worked. I can't see the controls. It's fine. I, I'll mess with it right now. I was asking if the heater worked or the blower at least too. We made it happen. A 1975 Oldsmobile Delta convertible is going back with us. Yeah, it's missing the badge, but it's inside. So we're going to have to put it back on like they tried and it came off. Good thing is, it is inside. Uh, it's not too bad of a car. It looks like it's all there. It's got the moldings. Uh, definitely not the original moldings, as you can tell, but. I don't, well, I don't know if the original moldings were just these, actually. Not really familiar. I did have Deltas before, but I don't know if these are the original moldings. But I don't know. I want to say they're not, but I don't know. So it does got the moldings, though. It's got the wheel wheel trim. It's got the bottle rocker trim. So and it is a power option car, which is this what I like about this car. Ugh. Heavy doors. Got a little scratches, but dirty, dirty. This is like the only two signs on both sides actually of sign of rust that it has. That's like both sides that it has. But besides that, the car is pretty, pretty clean. I mean, it's not not too bad for being a '75. Seats are actually in good shape. They're just dirty, but I thought it was pretty cool about the dual power option split bench seats that's pretty cool they both power and they both work 
Okay, it was just working. Oh, there we go. There we go. See? It went up. But yeah, you, you guys get it. Um, Pretty cool. It's got tilt. So it's got everything that you're supposed to have on the old school. You know, you got to have your tilt. You got to be able to move your steering wheel up and down. And you got to have your power option because you want to be able to adjust your seat so you can see and be comfortable. And you got to have power windows, power lock. And they work. So, yeah, car is not too bad, guys. Um, underneath was pretty solid. Let me show you. Look at them floors. Floors are there. So you guys know the importance of getting these cars is finding a decent, solid foundation that's not gonna need major stuff like floors. And this one's floors. Uh, this one's too dark, but yeah, I get to see them though. Floors are all there. So, yeah, guys, get in the comment section. Let me know. This is gonna be up for grabs soon. Um, I just got off the phone with Ace actually, since I'm gonna be passing by his shop if I can drop it off or drop it off at one of my buddies' house and maybe have him drop it off in the morning at Ace. So, I don't know. I'm debating if we should let Ace give it a quick buff job or should we just leave it like that but it does look in a little doll here y'all can see could use a little buff so i don't know i'm gonna decide i'm still kind of far so i'm gonna see i'm gonna decide the way home if i want to have a do something or you know i don't know i do want it to look nice though because it is a nice car but you guys know i can do it myself as well so I don't know, I'm gonna decide though. But yeah guys, like I said, again, the comments below what y'all think. This car is gonna be up in the market soon. So y'all stay tuned for that as well. But let's hit the road guys, cause we still got about three hours left. So let's go.